Previously on Making the Band. This song is awesome. Like, I can't say enough about it. Clark called me today. They gotta remove Jacob from the girl because his voice is too rock. What they're doing in here? So I gotta talk to him tonight so he doesn't flip out. Every time I sing, they wanna change something or they wanna take it off. And I'm not cool with that. recorded Liquid Dreams, I laid down vocals that I was proud of. And it was a little rougher than they were used to, and there was a little more edginess, and we were excited to give it to Jay, but when they got it, they returned it. They're like, we need you to tone it down a little bit. Does it meet up to the Jacob Underwood standards? I that. Shut up. And then we sang a next song, and I sang a small part, and they brought it back, and they told me they wanted to change it. Every song that I was able to sing on, I even either was taken off of it, or was asked to re-record it. Everything I did on, on Girl was like, it, it was amazing. No, they would tell me when you went in the studio. I'm like, I'm amped to give up a part if somebody sings better than me, mm -hmm. but it's not cocky when I know that I can sing something better. No. They're taking me off because I sound different. They didn't take your vocals off because you didn't sing good. It was his vocals are drawing away from the rest of the song. So what are you going to do with me then? Work with it. When I it. sing in a group of five, my voice stands out. I agree with so you. So you hide it? It doesn't stand out. When you guys harmonize, it's perfect. You guys know. You... What I'm saying when we're trading solos, my voice sticks out. That's a good thing. And they just so have to realize. They, so instead they take it off instead of adding to it and saying, yeah, it sticks out. Let's let's do more. Originally, they take it off. Originally I think it scared them. But now they find something else for me to do. Because I'm not gonna be happy sitting in a group of five people and hiding because my group my voice stands out when we all sing. We just solos. need to open their eyes to that that is your sound. Your style of voice is your sound. And we need to talk about it and open their eyes up before the album comes out. We need to stand with Keith and Clive. So we need to set up a meet at least like a 20 minutes or half At hour this meeting. point, I say we start a conversation with Keith and meet with Clive. If you handle it right, he'll listen to you because he's very open and does listen to what people say. But he's so powerful, so big, the way you handle him and deal with him, you can be very careful. I quite fancy British girls. They've got a way about them. And to tell you the truth, they make for quite smashing conversation. Smashing. Can you make it, can you put that vibrato in there? Or can't you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can you get the lie? Okay. I just feel inadequate because I know I can sing those songs also. I just don't get to because it stands out. For me in your life. 
so what do I do in the studio? I sit there and read magazines for like how many hours because I don't have an instrument on the road and like there's nobody to really write with here. It's just boring. I'm just, I don't know, it's, bo it's boring. I did feel a little bad for Jacob, honestly, because when you're in the studio and you think you got that part, you're kind of excited because you're like, this is my part and be able to do this on stage. And if you get taken off, it's a little um, upsetting. He feels bad that they want to switch Jacob's vocals with Dan. Yeah. So he feels bad that Jacob might be mad at Dan. He's not mad at you, dude, because it's not your call. He's I know it's not, but, but, but still, there's, still, there's, still, there's, there's still a feeling of uncomfortableness. And so I was in the studio, and the reason why Jacob is mad, I would be mad just if I was taken off to begin with, but the producers were like ranting and raving about how good he sounded on that one part. Like they're like, oh, come in, they were like, yeah, that is so hot. Yeah, but they did that so to good. me too when I sang a verse, and they did the same thing to me. Obviously, I'm not the best for that part. If that, if the producer, I take the producer's word for it. I don't think it'd be totally right to take Jacob completely off girl, but I didn't hear the song, so I don't know. I heard it. It sounds good. Like, I mean, did it sound like the devil? his voice sounds different to the point where it's like, ooh, that's cool. Like, it makes you want to listen because his voice does sound different and does. But Clive gets scared with that stuff. Gets scared when things are different. Really? When you start dealing with stuff that are different, then you. you Rolling the dice, you gamble. I'm excited. I mean, all or nothing is a great song. It went great, and the song came out awesome. I like the way the song came out, but it's like I'm singing music that I don't care about. I really just want to go home. I'd probably still be in the garage trying to make it, but at least I was happy there. like letting people down even at the expense of my happiness I like made an agreement and I'm gonna do it but if I could find a way around it then I would take that route I just haven't found it yet good job man going for Jacob and Dan I don't feel connected with these people I don't feel like I'm involved as much as I should one for new kids on the block in general all yeah. oh, okay. new kids right, right. Well, that's like five right give me two oh, give me two for Rod Stewart I hate being the odd man out because it makes it for a very lonely trip but that's just the way I feel Definitely give me one for Joey Lawrence. I don't think I can condone that one. I'm sorry. I'm iffy about being here. I don't want to be here all the time. You can't go that with the label. That's going to hurt the other four guys.